Vamos lá, episódio 5, acima e além. A batalha final com o novo inimigo de Jesse levará a guerra de volta à vila do Sinal. Talvez o mundo nunca mais seja o mesmo. Vamos encerrar essa quinta, essa segunda temporada que tá muito boa. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend... <sighs> Such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. Of a better Jesse. <sighs> And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof, I guess. She still scared me, though. She already helped us a lot. The portal buying us time to get up here. Yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. I'm just glad that friends of Fred stayed at the entrance to that... that Heckmouth. This is far too dangerous for them. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Just remember, Petra, things look bad for us. But who knows what horrible things are happening to our friends, the people in Beacon Town right now. Uh, great pep talk? I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Woo! My, that was loud. Here we go.
Nossa, olha como é que Beacon Town ficou. That's where the primary terminal is. The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Guys, admin. And he's with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And boom! redeeming Romeo. No, I'm not so sure. Champion City. He blew it up. Just to make a point. It... That... Can't have been real, right? It must have been another one of the admin's tricks. I don't... Think so, Jesse. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now? One less thing to worry about. My... my friend... Psst! Olivia! Axel! Oh my gosh! I knew it! I just knew it! <gasps> Whoa! Am I seeing double? Shh! Jesse, I... what is... Come on, I'll explain everything. But we have to get off the streets. To the map shop. Quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah, I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside? Axel and I almost did. And we're your oldest friends. I mean, if we couldn't tell, I... I'll just have to make them understand what happened. Make them? I suppose if anyone could make them listen, it'd be you. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Stella sucks even when she's on our side, but nobody deserves that. Ever. Her whole city. Gone. In an instant. It's insane. Nobody should have that much power. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. 
Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. That was before the admin's goons were everywhere. It's been ransacked once. Whoever did that might come back again. <laughs> Comforting. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Surprised nobody wanted to take these. Too bad they don't help us, though. You okay there, Jack? Uh, fine, I guess. Just feeling a little violated at someone coming in here and robbing the place. Priceless artifacts and mementos gone. Everything ransacked. I don't know if it was the admin, looters, what I... Uh. I promise, Jack, we're gonna get everything back once we defeat the admin. Yeah, you're right. Probably just fixating on this to distract myself. In the meantime, we'll keep looking around. Might be something useful in here yet. Uh, thanks, Jesse. I appreciate it. I don't think we're going to be able to read our way up to the tower. Hey, Binta, adjusting okay? Just looking at scraps from some of the places Jack has been. Maybe someday I'll get to see them. If we defeat Romeo, that is. We will. Let me know if you find anything useful. Of course. You really think that someone might try to get in? Don't know. Not taking any chances. It's like our home is still here, but it's not home, you know? Hey, we'll make things right, okay? Yeah, I know. But seeing what happened to Champion City, it has me a little more worried than I'd like, you know? I'll be fine. Go help Jack. Trilha sonora desse jogo é muito boa. Wow. I was worried all the parrots had left Beacon Town. Who, Archie? No, oh, he'd never leave. Oh, is he yours? Watching him for a friend. Let's just leave it at that. Doing okay, Luna? <coughs> yeah, I know it's scary. We're gonna get through it, though. Poor llama. <coughs> Hey, you two. What's up, Jesse? You two haven't seen Lucas around, have you? We got separated when the admin zapped us to his prison. No, he... he's just been missing. Kind of went underground. I'm... I'm sure he's okay, though. When you thought the admin was me, did he tell you anything? About a terminal, maybe? No, the guy's a jerk. Never answered a single question. He does spend a lot of time in that floating tower, though. Would she never let us go to? What brought you both back to Beacon Town? Yeah, we, uh, we heard something weird was going on. I had no idea how weird until we saw the lava, though. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay, we'll be here, keeping an eye out. <laughs> Hey, 
Jack. By the tides, I'd almost forgotten about that stash. Are these? Elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Caraca, meu! Como é que ele conseguiu fugir? Never letting you out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> But how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh my! Oh my gosh! Do you know who that is? That is Ivor, founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nerm, within arm's reach. And my shop is a complete wreck. Oh, this is so totally embarrassing. Trust me, Jack. Best thing around Ivor, just be yourself. Uh, yeah, that uh, that makes a whole lot of sense. Thanks, Jesse. Well, here goes. Ivor of the Order of the Stone. Whew. This is quite the pleasure. Huh. Well, yes, of course it is. And you are? Oh, me? Oh, I'm uh, the uh, the uh, stock the uh, stab. Well, from the I'm uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, how are you? <laughs> He's Jack. Oh well, hello. Always nice to meet a fan. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh. Anyway. I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? Uh, uh. <laughs> Nerm. You are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. You know about the terminal? What does it actually do? No idea, but you, the other you, spends a great deal of time within it. Just uh, you sure we can't like reason with this admin guy? You know, I'm talking out. You, wanting to talk it out? Jesse taught me to keep the explosions in Boomtown. Well, that's not. You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. Yeah, some people just don't want to be reasoned with. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> They do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Boom. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks, which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event. Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. 
grab them. We suit up and boom, backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait, what am I doing? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go airborne. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Oh, I was wondering what it was for. And the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows what to do. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Is she a friend of yours? She did seem kind of awful. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. Champion City was torn down. We all saw it. Stella's been hurt by the admin, too. There has to be a way to get through to her. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on that. Well, Stella does know where the Fireworks Guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them, and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great. Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets, because Jesse is the admin. You don't exactly look like the you we saw earlier. You'll have to change. Jesse, I know you think Stella's just another victim of the admin, but be careful, okay? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Time to find Stella. Eu queria dar só uma explicação rápida. Teve um corte no vídeo aí. Foi um, foi um problema que eu cometi um erro e deu um corte na jogatina mesmo. Não foi nem na edição. Eu lamento aí. An ocelot? What is that for? 